Hi everyone, let's learn how to use your SD Libido Care today. Okay, so the first thing you want to notice is that in your box of strip, you will have the strip and the coat chip. If you buy the lipid test strip, you will have the blue strip with a blue coat chip. If you buy the total cholesterol, you have a red strip with a red coat chip, right? So what you want to do is to make sure that the coat chip number, like here, 161, is the same number as the back of the strip, which is also 161. So this is important because the coat chip actually calibrates the meter to the lot of strips that you have, right? So it will ensure its accuracy. Next, what we want to do is to take this coat chip and put it into the side of the meter and, and push it until you hear click, right? Then you will be ready to do the test. So before uh, we do the test, I always like to uh, remember the number six. We have to prepare six items. We have the meter, we have the lancet, we have the lensing device, we have the easy tube for sample collection, and we have our uh, alcohol swab and the test strip, okay? So there are six items uh, to uh, make it easier for you to remember. Okay, first thing first, make sure you clean the finger of the patient first. Okay, so for the finger, make sure you clean it very thoroughly because sometimes there will be uh, oil or dirt on the finger, right? So clean it thoroughly. And when you do it as the first step, you actually can let the uh, alcohol on the skin dry off right while you prepare the other things okay next we prepare the lensing device right we set in the lancet okay like so and then we cover it back and for this right we have to make sure that we prick on the uh, deepest level, number five, okay? Because later on, what we're gonna do is to take a sample of 35 microliter. So to make sure that you don't uh, fail, that you get it on the first time, we recommend that you put on the highest level. So if you are a beginner, I would like to give you a tip that you put the test strip on the meter, not inside the meter, yeah? Because if you put it inside the meter, it will switch on the meter immediately. And then if you take too long to take the blood, then uh, the meter could switch off if it's too long. And then you won't notice the meter is switched on and you put your blood and then you see the error sign, okay? So put the strip on the machine and then you can proceed to prick the patient all right so massage massage so how to make uh, the uh, process less painful for your patient so after you massage the finger right, you see it's a bit reddish already what you want to do is to hold right so if you were doing with your two fingers you can hold like this okay once you hold it you hold it for five seconds actually this area becomes a little numb and a uh, patient will feel less pain when you prick them, all right? So hold it for five seconds, put the lensing device firmly on the skin, do not be loose, okay? Put it on the skin and click, all right? So what happens is that you will see the blood, just press out a little bit of blood, then horizontally, very important, horizontally touch the blood and continue to massage the finger or you can keep the pressure on the finger so that the blood continues to come out. Uh, massage a little bit more, the blood comes out until the black line and it will stop. Right now, even if I have more blood now, it will actually not be able to suck in. This is the right way, right? So do notice that I am holding the neck of the easy tube, right? Not the top here. Because if I were to hold the top here, it wouldn't be able to suck so smoothly and it will stop halfway, right? Because there is a very tiny hole here that actually will, uh, will be blocked if you hold here and it won't be able to suck, okay? So at this point of time, to stop your patient from bleeding, so you give the alcohol swab back to the patient, lah, okay? So that they can press the wound, okay? Right. Then what we do next is to gently put it down on your table, right? And then you have both hands. 
you can then put the strip in. So you put the strip in right here and it will switch on by itself. You don't have to open it and put it in. Yeah? Do, do not open and put in. So just push it in and then it will say open. So once you're ready, you open the cover. All right, it will ask you to uh, insert your blood. So we want to, now we want to hold the head, right? And close the uh, hole here, right? And then we are gonna drop the blood one shot into the strip, like so, okay? And now we have to wait for the machine to say close, C-L-O, before we close the flap, okay? So now it's being absorbed into the test strip and it's asking us to close. Then the timer will start for three minutes and we'll just have to wait for the result. During the, the test, do not move about the test strip because the system is working inside to detect your cholesterol level. Do not move it about, right? So let's wait. So once your result is out, you see the TC sign blinking. This is for your total cholesterol. If you click next, it will go to your triglycerides. Then you go to your high density lipoprotein. You go for your low density lipoprotein. You get your ratio of your LDL over HDL and you'll get the non HDL. All right, so that's how you use the Lipido Care. Okay, so you are doing the cholesterol test and you suddenly see that, eh, why is the LDL not available? Or the ratio is not available? Or the non-HDL is not available, right? So, uh, I would just like to explain to you that the LDL, the non-HDL and the ratio between LDL over HDL is calculated, right? Even in the laboratories, it is calculated. So, it's calculated using this what we call a fried the wall calculation, right? This is an international formula used in all the labs, right, to calculate the LDL. And the uh, formula is LDL equals to TC minus HDL minus TG divided by 2.17. So if you have one of these, uh, TC, HDL, or TG that is showing low or is showing uh, high, then the, formula, the machine wouldn't be able to calculate the LDL for you. That's the main reason. Lah. So when you have that situation, you can use this formula and substitute whatever you need. So if the TC is low, then we will substitute with 2.59. If the TC is showing high, we will substitute with 11.64 and vice versa, lah, HDL and TG. Okay? Now, there is a situation where you shouldn't substitute, which, where you find that the TG is more than 4.5. So, you still see a figure there, maybe it's 5, maybe it's 5.5 or 6, but you shouldn't be doing uh, any calculation anymore for the patient because this is considered very dangerous and the formula actually no longer applies. This is the limitation of the formula. So, you have to refer to the doctor, ask them to go and see their healthcare professional, right? So uh, that is for LDL and you also have for non-HDL as well, where you take the TC minus the HDL. So once you have your LDL, right, you can also calculate the ratio of your TC over LDL, LDL over HDL, sorry, yeah? And you, if you would like to do the TC over HDL, also possible. Just take the TC result divided by the HDL. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you uh, to figure out um, if, let's say, the LDL, the, uh, the uh, HDL, and the TG is, you know, not showing the uh, results. So thank you for your time and attention to listen to me on how to use your SD Libido Care.